Look, I want to ask you a question, Habibi. Do you agree that every crime that happens in the world is supposed to go, is supposed to become punished? Like, do you agree that the creator of this entire universe is so just to the point that any single crime that happens eventually is going to be punished? So everyone that's doing like war crimes, anyone that's doing like even like civilian crimes, any crime, any crime, it's always going to become punished either in this world or the hereafter. If this is true, which I'm pretty sure 100% of you guys are going to be like, yeah, it's true. Like justice is always going to be, it's always going to come. There's no way justice, justice, justice is not going to come. Well, okay, if this is true, which it is, that means like, if you're always feeling guilty, if you're always feeling guilty, no matter what the thing you're feeling guilty about, don't you think that this feeling of guilt is going to cause a punishment to be sent down on you? This is the thing, like, for some reason, even even me back in the day, I used to always, like, throughout the day, I'm just, I feel this feeling in my belly where I feel so guilty. It's like it's almost like I've done something so bad in my life, and I feel so guilty about it to the point that, like, so many feelings come to me of guilt, and I'm just like, why is this feeling of guilt here? And what happens is that, like, I, I truly start thinking, not even feeling and knowing that, dang, bro, I've done something horrible in my life, and I feel so guilty about it, when in reality... I don't know why it's just this this thing just like you know how shaitan comes to you and does waswasa on you he just comes to you and makes you feel bad about everything like let's just say someone asked you for something and you're like no immediately you feel guilty about it why are you feeling guilty habibi you can say no to things you're allowed to say no so then why are you feeling guilty especially if, if like a like a, a beggar comes to you and you're just like no and automatically you feel so guilty you don't have to be feeling guilty so this is the thing Whoever they are, the elites, the people on the top, they always want you to basically be in the state of constant guilt because they know that the world outside is a mirror of what's happening on the inside. They know these laws. So they're like, if the, the, the civilians, the humans, the people that are living in these countries, they're always having a feeling of guilt in their hearts. That means like they're always going to, there's going to be like a constant loop in their lives of them always having to go through a certain punishment. Whether that punishment has to be like something random that happens that makes you feel bad, like some debt happens or like some random unexpected bill that comes to you. So every one of you guys are always feeling a constant guilt and not going to lie, even me too. It's just, it's just something that happens. And this is why, by the way, this is why Allah revealed istighfar, istighfar, which means forgiveness, but forgiveness not from anybody, forgiveness from Allah. Now listen, if you've hurt someone in the past, yeah, like, you don't just go and ask for forgiveness from Allah. You're supposed to go and ask forgiveness from the person that you hurt. That you hurt. But if you're just constantly feeling guilty for no reason, no reason, then do istighfar. So istighfar, all you do is just, you just say, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. But you say it from, from the heart. And if you don't know how to speak Arabic, then you say, Allah forgive me, Allah forgive me. And by the way, there were some people writing down in the comments, they were just like, because I, I, I made a video, I was like, if you just focus on Allah, all your problems get solved, which I 100% believe in. Some people were just like, how can you focus on something that doesn't exist? Do you think that Allah doesn't exist? Every human, by the way, knows that Allah exists. Every person that's on the plane, as soon as the plane goes down, if they were an atheist before, they're going to become a Muslim immediately. And by a Muslim, I just mean that they submit their will to the God, to the Creator. Whoever this creator is that's creating every single moment in your life. So everybody, everybody believes in the creator. It's just whatever name you want to put on it, whatever name you want to put on this creator, whatever. But you know that the creator exists. So this creator that's constantly making you live every single moment and creating everything, ask forgiveness from this creator. Because if this creator is connected to everybody, that means if you ask forgiveness from this creator, that means that everything that this creator is connected to is also going to start inclining towards you with like good feelings. What I mean by that is that if you're feeling guilty, that means that everything that's going to happen, like you will get more bills, you will get more debt, you will get more hate or whatever. But then when you ask for forgiveness from this creator, it's almost like you fix everything else that this creator is connected to and then things good things start coming to you, like you attract good things to you. And that's what istighfar is, bro. That's literally what it is. You take away this feeling of guilt that's within your heart. Because all of you guys, you have some, you think you're some insignificant being floating on a rock. It's like, bro, no, no, no. 
Like you are in the center of the universe. You, it's almost like they say, Allah thought that the world is not enough without you. And that's why you were created. Like every single one of you guys that are watching me, all of you guys have been created for a reason. And this is beautiful. I read that in a book. It was like, Allah thought that the world was not enough. So he created you. Otherwise, why would Allah create you? And that's so beautiful. Like, stop feeling guilty throughout the day all the time. And then what happens is that when you're, when you stop feeling this feeling of guilt, when you go and then you do work, when you go and then you talk to people, you'll talk to them from a point of view of like, just relaxed. You're relaxed as if like, you're just in harmony with the entire universe. You're in harmony with the world. And then when people notice that, then they, they sense that energy and then, then they start loving you more because that is attractive, just so you know. But then when you talk to people from a feeling of guilt, and then you can't even like, you can't even talk to people. You can't even talk to people unless like, you're just guilty, guilty the entire time. And what's beautiful, what's beautiful is that when this feeling of guilt goes away, I told you like when you, when people see you, they get attracted to you. So this is what I'm saying. This is exactly, this is exactly what I'm saying. Sit down for 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes. And just say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. The more you keep doing this, the more that this heart is going to be cleansed. And then when this heart is cleansed, this heart is what's creating the world outside of you. Because the world outside of you is just a mirror. All of it is just a mirror. And then when you fix... Because when you look at a mirror, by the way, you don't just go and change the reflection. It's so silly. Imagine you look at the mirror and you don't like a pimple on the face. And then you just try to go and change the mirror by breaking it. That makes no sense. So instead of changing the mirror, change the image itself, which is you. You change the image, you change the reflection automatically. So this is the thing, the things that you're projecting on the mirror, on the mirror is guilt. So then when you clean this guilt from the image, which is you, then the reflection automatically is going to be fixed. And that's the beauty. So again, I told you, every crime in the world, there is not a single crime that goes unpunished. Every crime is going to be punished. And the reason why that is, for those of you who are Muslim, one of Allah's names is the most just the most just. So if Allah is truly the most just, which He is, right? Allah is. Then every crime is going to go punished. There's going to be a balance that's, that's going to come. Now, if you're feeling guilty for whatever reason, because most of you guys are feeling guilty for no reason. So if you're always feeling guilty, if you're always feeling guilty and this feeling of guilt does not, does not like you don't, almost like there's like a fire and you don't extinguish it, then it's going to be extinguished through the world outside of you. And that's why you see unexpected things happening to you and you're like why me why me because you're feeling guilty Allah is, is like fixing this guilt that's within you by bringing something to get rid of this guilt and that's why by the way my mom because I'm Iraqi right from I come from the Arabi world so my mom anytime something like where you see the family is like so tight something happens in the family and they're so tight and then a glass breaks in the in the house my mom and my dad immediately they're just like oh the evil is gone the evil is gone and you know what? Like just looking at that, I'm like, where, where did that even come from? And now I know where it came from. It's because there is too much of an excess of this feeling of guilt. And then when the glass broke, it's like, oh, okay, now there is a relief. Now there is a relief because this feeling of guilt just, just went away. But I'm telling you, like, no need for glass to break. Just, just do istighfar. The more istighfar you do, the more this feeling of guilt goes away. Guilty feelings, by the way, because remember the the emotional chart guilt is like on the lowest right on the lowest so if you're feeling guilty you're on the lowest so get back to neutral and neutral is just no feeling and then you can get back to like gratitude content enlightenment and all that stuff but just stop being in this in this lowest form of feeling so go up go up and by the way i this is not this is just for my own brain just for my own brain i truly 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 believe you can't even go to heaven if you have this feeling of guilt within you I truly believe that. And why is that? What's my proof behind that? This is just for me, by the way. Because when you die, Allah says that He's going to say, يَا أَيَّتُهُ النَّفْسُ الْمُطْمَئِنَّ إِرْجِعِي إِلَىٰ رَبِّكِ رَاضِيَةً مَرْضِيَةً I believe that's the ayah. Like, oh, you, the soul that's content, come back to your Lord, being, like, satisfied. So, which means, by the way, if your soul, like the soul or the nafs or whoever, it's like, it's not content, it's not in a state of contentness, it's in a state of guilt. It's not going to go back to the Lord satisfied. Because it's going to go back to the Lord tight. Like it, like there's feelings of guilt. And so the opposite, by the way, is the feelings of guilt. So when you have so much feelings of guilt within you, and then you die, it's impossible for you to go to heaven. I truly believe that. This is just from my own brain. Don't 
tell me it's like where did you get that from it's just from my own brain based on like my own conclusion based on what i've been seeing in the quran so when you are in a content state and then you die i believe that you're gonna go to heaven honestly bro i i truly truly believe that and so you don't know when you're gonna die you don't know when you're gonna die which means that every moment has to be perfect every moment that you're gonna be living in has to be perfect on the inside inside not outside inside so again sit down 20 minutes and do istighfar astaghfirullah 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 or like allah forgive me forgive me forgive me and then when you get for when you feel when you feel like you've, you've gotten forgiven then you'll see more money because you live through the world without guilt more money you'll see more risk by the way more risk come to you more love you'll just flow with the universe you'll, you'll become in harmony with the universe and that's beautiful